everyone welcome back to my channel and this is a very exciting video for me to record let me get to the bottom of my garden here before I hurt myself today is the first tomato tour of 2024 very exciting I have been marathon planting for probably four weeks now three four weeks some of these got started four weeks ago maybe even five weeks ago but I have got all, this is gonna be just for my garden and I literally counted on my piece of property, not counting my micros or my mini dwarfs, counting dwarfs and indeterminates, I have 311 plants, yeah, to take care of. And today was the first day where I trimmed up the bottom leaves and tied them to the trellising. So it's time to do a tour. Um, they're getting big. <laughs> Most of them are very, very healthy. There's one area that's not, and I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Hopefully that'll rectify itself. But when I get to that, I'll tell you about it. So, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all of them in this video. So, I might do like my hay, do my hay bales, which I have a couple back there too, and then I'll do this whole left side because there's one two three four five six seven rows so i think that'll be plenty and then i'll split it into another section where i do all of the middle rows so there's four there there's a dwarf bed these two beds and then all the grow pots oh that's still a lot that'll be okay that's what i'm gonna do so let's get started Let's start over here with the hay bales. And my garden is still a work in progress. I'm still working on mulching. This is my first year growing in hay bales and I think it's, we just got these planted last week and it's been a week exactly and they're doing perfectly. I planted some other things that aren't doing so great. I don't even know where they're at. I planted like peppers and basil in the middle right here. And don't have anything so but this tomato here and everything is starting to bud so there's flowers on a lot of things so i've got green pineapple which is actually an indeterminate and then i've got antho striped dwarf next table over is and i'm probably going to go pretty quickly and, and and for special ones i'll throw up some pictures and this is how you know these are mushrooms i think they're called ink spot mushrooms or ink mushrooms or something like that when your hay bales start to pop up the mushrooms that means they're ready for being planted you want to wait a couple weeks because they'll stop popping up and you you don't want to risk them actually like pushing your tomato plants out so once you see the mushrooms wait another week then you can plant um this one is big green dwarf this one is soul patch dwarf over here we have an indeterminate which I need to get tree tag for this one because I'm really loving the tree tags that I've got on all the others. This is Kazula 222. This is one of the later ones that I started hydroponically and it's doing great. And this one here is another one that needs a tree tag. This one is Indigo Queen. And as you can see, I planted a couple peppers, lipstick peppers on either side. I don't know what happened to the peppers. Looks like something ate them. I don't know. All right, and then I've got these two bales of hay over here. So this one, oh, actually I got one tied, one in the ground here. So this is variegated. Look at how gorgeous that is. And we've got some little buds starting. Just incredible. I've got several variegated plants this year. I'm super excited. This one is Gandalf. So this hay bale was given to me by a neighbor after they used it for their fall decorations. So this one's in pretty rough shape. I tried to tie it. I do have a video that is coming or is already up. I'm not sure which will go up first showing like what I did to try to like <laughs> plant these up and all the, the stuff that I did to get them prepared and all that. But this one's quite a bit older, but it seems to be doing okay. And it's got shadow boxing dwarf in it. And then this one, I did plant a flower that seems to be doing okay. Sonora zinnia, right in the middle here. And then I've got dwarf wilpina 
and dwarf furry bumblebee. So look at that. It's like, it's like fluffy. It's furry. You can kind of see right there if I don't flip it over. But yeah, it's really cool. Okay. So those are the hay bales. Now I'm just going to go this row and then we're going to work our way up. All right. We have Cosmos. We have Black Hole Sun. And let's see, everybody's getting buds. It's very exciting. Buds, buds, buds. So my next tomato tour will probably be when there's a bunch of tomatoes on everything. Dagma's Perfection. Look, this one's the flowers opened up. Oh, it's so exciting. Dolo Striped. And we've got Seven Rivers Tricolor. Orange You Glad. Black Tulip. Oop, I see a sucker I don't want there. Like everything has flower buds. I'm so pumped. This is P20X Beauty King. This is, um, so it's a P20 cross with Beauty King. This was one that was on my most wanted list and my friend Kina graciously gave me the seeds for it. So I'm super excited about that. Um, this is Antho Vio Violetrot. That's a, it's a big one. It's an overachiever. It's the biggest one in this row. And it's got a bunch of flowers that have already opened up. The one next to it is Marmond Verit. Again, flowers. And Grandma Oliver's Green. I will be doing like a garden tour because I got a bunch of other stuff planted too. But I just got a lot of it in the ground this week. So <laughs> I want to give it a chance to kind of establish itself. This one is Grinch and I need a tree tag for it, but it's already got a flower. This one is Crushed Heart. We have Beetlejuice beside it. Super excited about Beetlejuice. We have Groovy. A lot of these are over two feet tall already. We have Striperant Stripe Brown Noid. I don't know how you pronounce that. This is Gargamel. Pretty little flowers on that. This is Mar Azul, and it's already got its two liters and a bunch of flowers. So sometimes um, you can kind of tell the, the two liters. Like, I'll try to trellis mine to, to, I'll try to train mine to two liters. Not always, but I, you can kind of tell, like, once they get to be um, up to the fence line, that's usually when I'll let one of the suckers go. This one is Musk Zebra. Lots of flowers there. We've got Dirkline Doctor. Golden Gates. We've got Black and Brown Boar. Stripes of Yore, and Bacon, Lettuce, and This. And that's not real, in case you're wondering. <laughs> I have an issue with my beans and stuff getting eaten up. Clearly, the snakes don't work. All right, up to this one. So this has double rows, this one and the one above it. So this is the row that I was telling you isn't looking all that hot. Not quite sure. This is the only area that some of these plants are having issues. Now, I can't remember if I fertilized this. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what's going on, but you can kind of see some of them are just looking not as lush and growing as fast as the road right above it. So, all right, let's get to what's in here. I got Christmas grapes, jade beams back there. I think I have another one that I'm gonna replant that one. I know I have another one, I just found it yesterday. I just don't know what I did with it. Um, this one is tiger fang. Can you see that? And these are 
really pretty when they start to bloom, but they get in the way of my tomatoes, but I don't have the heart to dig it up. Can't remember what it is. This is ghost cherry. The one next to it, let me just do the back first, is cappuccino. Matt's Hornet, Black Fire, Black Fire and Jade Stash are kind of overachievers. <laughs> then we've got, what is this one? An Anana C. Here's another variegated. You can see the variegation, so, so pretty. And this one is Cherokee Purple Variegated. We've got Kazula. So part of this is the Kazulas. So I've got like Kazulas on this side and that side up that row, and then Jarsons on the other. So this is a lot of Kazulas, a lot of Jarsons that I'm going to be saying now. Kazula 156.1. Kazula 90, Kazula 138, Kazula 139.2, and we have Kazula 148.1, and some raspberry bushes that have worked their way under from there that need to be pulled out <laughs> and put somewhere else in the front. Oh, I did have variegated dragon bite the dust. So I had about, I'd say only five plants that bit the dust this year, which, which out of all the ones I planted, I know I've got 311 here. Now there's probably over 250 over at Materville planted. And so five out of 600, that's probably pretty good. <laughs> okay, in the front row, we've got Kazula 139.4. So the slash four, that just means that it's thrown off different variants, and so I, don't, I, I like surprises. I don't mind that. Kazulas and Jarsons are kind of the same. There's lots of vari variety in the same tomato, if that makes sense. Kazula 134, Kazula 137, Kazula 72, cultivar, and it's from Cultiva, Cultivaru. Um, we've got West Virginia Penitentiary. Looks like there might be a little disease happening on that, so I'm going to finish taking that off. We've got Golden Ponderosa, which is from West Virginia. Tappy's Finest. We've got Sweet Tooth. We've got Mark Twain. Aladdin's Lamp. See, this one's like, yeah, it looks sickly. That's... I don't, that's not supposed to be the coloring of it, but I hope it bounces back. The top is looking better, so. Um, Dolly Parton, and I told you Tiger Fang, so. All right, up we go to this row. So this row is looking a heck of a lot better than the other one. Very lush. These are looking piddlier. These are just like exploding, so I don't know what the difference is. It is what it is. <laughs> so, we'll do the back first again. Jarson 23. Jarson 3. Jarson 18 3. Jarson 29. Jarson 18. That's probably really loud. But I'll just voice over if I have to. Um, I'm going to keep going. This is Jarson 4, Jarson 7, and then we're back to Kazula's again. Kazula 184, Kazula 141, we have Kazula 10, Kazula 186, Kazula 203-1. Kazula 105, Kazula 61, and then Kazula 126, question mark, 
from Fifu. Not sure what that question mark means, but that was what was on the packaging. Kazula 49.1. And then I just stuffed this one in here. This one is Kazula, another Kazula 222, which doesn't look all that healthy. Not sure what's up with it, but the top of it is getting a little greener, so hopefully it'll bounce back. Uh, Kazula 83. Kazula 30. Kazula 66. Kazula 128. Kazula 72. Kazula 127. Kazula Megatron, which is supposed to be really cool, so we shall see. And Kazula 125. Kazula 136. Jarson 24. Jarson 13. Jarson 34. Jarson 21. And this is Jarson 1 from Tomato Fifu. Or no, from Tomato Eden. And then Jarson 1. This is from Lauren. So I don't know if they're the same. I, can't, I think she got hers from a different vendor and they look different. If I remember what she said, but... So, this is actually my first year growing Jarsons, and I'm growing a bunch of them. We've got flowers. Look at those big old flowers. All right, so the last row up top here. Lots of yummy looking strawberries in there. Okay, so this is a wild looking one. It is throwing off a ton of armpit suckers everywhere this one is fills one and i just test sprayed some copper spray on these um so they got a little bit of like the copperiness wetness on them so just these three to test it i want to make sure it's not going to damage the plants what's in my bottle I used this stuff last year, but I'm always leery of contamination being in the bottle. I cleaned them out really well, but you never know. This one is Malachite Box. And we've got Big Zebra. We've got Maya and Scion's Ardry Classic. We've got Stoney's Neighbor. I am so excited for this tomato. I got these seeds from Bounty Hunter Seeds, and I just cannot wait. It's a gorgeous tomato. The inside is different from the outside. I love tomatoes like that. This is JD F8. So my daughter's name is Jade, so I'm growing this because of the name, and it's a potato leaf. And we've got Bo Mango, which is an overachiever, the overachiever in this row really thick stem already on uh, the one next to it is Bob's boomtown Bob's boomtown titty then we've got eight ball which is supposed to be a really dark tomato like black and then we've got chocolate stripes which a friend of mine says this is her very favorite variety um, that she's ever grown so I'm super excited and look at the flower on that one that's a big boy Yes. Beside it, I've got Date Yellow and Green Berkeley Tie-Dye. Over in the corner here, being shaded by the peach tree that's about to get trimmed. <laughs> Sorry, but you can't encroach upon my precious. So. Okay. So, if you're new to me, this is our fire pit area right and we used to have this like decking that came out to like right to like right there um and this is where we put our movie screen to watch movies in the evenings but it used to be attached to like this blow-up doohickey so it needed something to sit on this big old blow-up thing I don't know if you ever seen those blow-up movie screens but Ben made something that we can just put it on, um, not stilts. I can never find my words, but it just goes right here now. So we removed the decking and he put me another garden bed. And of course I'm going to fill it with more tomatoes and cabbages and dill and carrots and there's other stuff in here, but 
Oh, here we go with the weed whacker again. All right, so this row has Yamali green and Yamali yellow. Fire egg keys. Uh, black keys. Rebel Starfighter Penny Lane Dwarf. Now it was really, really tiny, so tiny that I couldn't put the tag on it. So it's actually gotten a little bigger so I can put the tag on it now. Tag is on. So I don't know about the Rebel Starfighter line, but boy, they were, they were struggling, like all of them. And I even lost one, but they're starting to look a lot better. So I'm happy about that. Um, this one is Rebel Starfighter Kaylee Ann. And this is Rebel Starfighter Dipper's, Dipper's Delight. So yeah, someone told me that they are very, someone told me they can be like that, very like touchy and touch and go in the beginning. But then once they get going, they go. So again, Rebel Starfighter Blaine's Moonlight. And this is one last year I tried to grow and could not for the life of me. I put in three plants and they all bit the dust Xanadu Green Goddess. So it looks like I'm going to be able to grow it this year. Another Dirk Klein Doctor. And yeah, Dirk Klein Doctor. And then this is Midnight Tiger. And then Blue Zebra. And one that is just fighting for dear life. Black Zebra. So you can see how little and piddly it is. I hope it recovers. It's too little to even put the tag on, but it ain't dead yet. There's Glacial Zebra. Oh, this one was another one that must've been really small. Apricot Zebra. It's big enough now, really big. All right, tag is on. We've got Evil Olive, Datarini Black, and then Brad's Atomic Grape, and then I also had Datarini Verd, which Datarini Green, and it bit the dust, sadly. And I didn't have any backups of the Datarini Green. Okay, so let's just do the whole middle. All right, so second row middle. Napa Chardonnay blush, and there's a Napa Chardonnay. I grew that, it's eh. Napa Chardonnay blush is supposed to be so much better, so I have high hopes for it. We've got Wan Flame, which is another cherry that's supposed to be amazing. This is like a cherry row, at least I think it's mostly cherries. I tried to get the cherries in the same areas. Green zebra cherry, but they're also dispersed throughout. Like, I was really just trying to get stuff in the ground terracotta cherry i'm super excited about that one so if you've ever heard of the terracotta tomato this is terracotta cherry bumblebee basket that's probably something that would go well in a basket <laughs> or a, like a pot hanging pot blancomfskin don't know how to pronounce that i tried i grew this two years ago and its growth does not look the same as the first time I grew it. It's supposed to be a multiflora. This does not look like it's gonna be a multiflora. So, well, yeah, it does look. But I kid you not, I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to find the picture of it, but the multiflora was insane. I've never seen anything like it. So, I hope it takes off, I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. This is Quartz Multiflora, another Multiflora. We have Atomic Fusion. We have Bosque Black Bumblebee. Bosque Bronze Bumblebee. Cookie, Cookie Select, I'm really excited about this one. That's supposed to be a really good one. Elf Tears, it's kind of piddly still. Accordion cherry, it looks so adorable. I cannot wait to have some. This is dentata. I'm a dental hygienist, so anything that has the word dental or tooth, I like. 
I like to grow it. This is boar's tooth. And we have butterscotch stripes. So we have boar's tooth and butterscotch stripes and lava flow, which I grew lava flow last year. And it got disease very, very early on. And I got one tomato from it. So I wanted to grow it again. And I did not want to save seeds from that tomato because the plant got diseased so quickly. All right, third middle row. We've got yellow vernissage. This is one I grew last year, but this is from different seed stock because what I grew last year was not yellow vernissage. Wanted to grow it, so I got different seeds from a different person. I've got sunrise jazz. This is one that bit the dust and I had to replant it. Again, same thing with Edder's Big Heart of Color. Uh, Jewel Tone. This one I grew because of the name, Frankenstein, Frankenstein Black. And it's got a whole bunch of flowers on it. We got Purple Zebra, which is a F1. We've got Red Striped Furry Hog. We've got Blue Beauty, which is probably one I'm not gonna like, <laughs> but we're gonna taste it anyways, taste test it anyways. We've got Utuol. We've got Eighth Wonder of the World. It's got a really nice sized flower on it. We've got Big White Pink Stripes. This is one I tried to grow last year and was unsuccessful. We've got Juan Cotelie de Montelouis. Um, Dragon's Eye, love the name. Pineapple fog. I'm growing a bunch of different pineapples. French pineapple. And then I don't know why I grew this one. Blue pineapple. It's Ananas blue. But there it is. I don't like Ananas blue. <sighs> but it's in the ground. All right, fourth middle row. We've got raspberry colored sugar plum, another Rebel Starfighter that is just struggling. Rebel Starfighter VT16. Marsha's Starfighter beefsteak bit the dust. I don't think I have any replacements for it, so I'll put something else there, maybe, <laughs> probably. Ban No, this was one I had to replace. We had Kryptonite, which I grew last year. And it was not, so if you look up kryptonite on the internet, you'll find like two varieties. So the real kryptonite is like a green one, which that's what I thought I was growing last year. But then if you keep looking, there's like an orangey red one, which is what I got last year. So I'm growing from different seed stock. We'll see if I get the green one this year. So that's kryptonite. Then we've got kiwi. We've got orange datorino. We've got sister keys, amber keys, blue keys that is struggling it's so piddly. We've got Pike County yellow, doing well. Green hilarios. So I've done for two years now a seed swap, a tomato seed swap, and it's called the Shamrock Seed Swap. So this year I'm growing a bunch of like Irish named themed tomatoes so that I can give away a bunch of these as gifts in that seed swap. So I think I've got like six or seven. So I've got Irish pink, Irish stripes, Leprechaun Lenya, Leprechaun Sasha, Leprechaun Vova and Leprechaun Gosha, which is the overachiever of the bunch. And we'll get to it, but I'm also growing one actually called Shamrock. It's a dwarf. I think it's in two different places somewhere. Okay, so that's those four rows. And then there I have beans and okra, and then I have the arch trellis where I plant stuff on either side. And then behind that is where I grow another row of tomatoes. These do fairly well. 
Um, they get going earlier in the season than the other stuff I plant. I try. I mean, I usually get a bunch of tomatoes off of them before this stuff in the front of them starts to shade them. Where I'm at, stuff doesn't get like a ton of sun, but it's enough that I get something. This isn't like the greatest spot for them. But then again, when it gets really hot in the summer, these tend to survive pretty well because they're not getting blasted by the sun. All right, so this is Max's Large Green Variegated, which I don't actually see any vari variegation, so won't want to that. Um, this is a fun named one. Wee Willie's Mouthful. Now this one has some variegation. Orange Russian Potato Leaf Variegated. Oh my word. Oh my golly. Would you look at that. Ugh. Okay, moving on. We have Marmond Variegated. Again, I'm not seeing any variegation. So there's that. We've got Dark Copia Heart. We've got Nalumi. We've got Wolverine, which this is one of um, Bill Yoder's favorite varieties, so I just had to grow it. I had seeds for it, and I was like, I gotta grow it. And then we've got Paw Paw. Got this potato leaf, Mr. Connie Gabart German Yellow. It's really, really pretty. We've got Black and Brown Boar. We've got Bug Tussle Giant Blues Blackie. We've got Mermaid. This is one of the first that I planted, as is Eaglet. It's very small. Is Eaglet supposed to be a dwarf variety? I'm not sure. It's just kind of hanging out there. Kind of short and squatty. This is Seahorse and Overachiever. And these survived a frost. <laughs> like it must not get frost in this little like microclimate that's happening right here. Cause these I planted and we got a 31 degree night. Literally I woke up for work and I had to sc scrape my windshield. And I thought these are a goner. So I didn't even bother coming down to visit them. So I assumed I planted them too early and I was just like, I'm not even gonna go down and visit them for a week. I didn't. And when I finally did come down and visit them, they were all fine. So it was worth the risk. Okay, so I'm gonna do the last big long row here. Then I'm gonna come back, do the pots. Well, the tomato pots start like right there. That's all pepper pots. And then I've got a whole dwarf bed right up there. Um, these beds are still a work in progress. There'll be a couple more added, but let's get to it. So this one here, we've got Black Beauty. We've got Tatiana Yankot. I don't know how to pronounce that one. Tree Bottom Streak. We've got Reinhardt's Chocolate Heart. We've got Isle of Capri. So I think I've got a couple of these planted. I was pretty excited about it. It's super rare. I gave one to Lauren last week. Um, I did a trade with someone from New Zealand and he was gracious enough to send me some of these seeds. I'm super excited about them. We've got Brown Sugar, Eroke Splush. We've got Pork Chop, which I think these leaves need to be trimmed. They're looking a little Yuckety. Then we've got, so, oh, I wanted to tell you about pork chop. So pork chop, I traded seeds with someone and they grew it out last year. And then they sent me a picture of what their plant grew and it was not what I grew. So I am, I have since not traded those seeds anymore and I'm regrowing it again to save seeds again. Cause I don't know if it got crossed. Many things could happen, but just to be on the safe side, if it was me and something I did wrong, I'm going to try to correct it. Um, this one I'm very excited for, Grungy in the Sky. We've got Orange Orangutan, Sandberg Green when ripe, and then just Sandberg. We've got Indigo Queen again. I think I got another one planted over there. Or was that? I can't remember. Scarlet in the Kitchen with a Knife is another one I'm super excited about, and it's already got big old, big old flower. 
We've got 007, awesome name. We've got Fuego Rosa. I grew Fuego Verde last year and loved it, so I had um, to grow. What is all fussed up with this? Okay. This leaf is all fussed up. Get you right, buddy. Okay. And then we've got Kamato. I grew mini Kamato last year. Loved it. Um, Darth Mater, again, the name. <laughs> and then, again, another name one. Elbonian Puddle Duck, which is a F3. Beautiful Dreamer. Reinhardt's Purple Heart. And Green Tulip. Gross Vert. Another striping annoyed. Another musk zebra. Another groovy. Another mar azul. Another bacon lettuce in this. Golden gates. And then we have a very, very special friend of mine sent me these. And I just had to grow them. Celebrity. So you know who you are. Thank you so much for these. I'm super excited to grow these seeds because you sent them to me. Okay, so let's do the grow pots. Well, this is another hay bale. This one is Midnight Tiger. I think I already have one of those planted, but this is an empty one that I'm gonna put something in. Got some Martian. So I have all the series least there was one that didn't didn't do well for me and I only had one germinate and then it died <sighs> which one was it I'll throw up the name of it but they're all planted over at Materville and then I had extras and I thought well I want some here at my house too Martian Granat Martian Zalber and Martian Elf is what's planted in that pot um, those are peppers and then this one is Cherokee Tiger Black look at the chartreuse foliage on that one then we've got Dwarf Furry Bumblebee again. Then the variegated one. What's this one? Walther's. This is Walther's Funky. So there's Walther's Fancy and Walther's Funky. This is Walther's Funky, and I think I have Fancy up in my greenhouse. This one is another Gargamel. Then in the ground here we have... Don't know. Don't see the tag. Surprise. It'll be a surprise. Here's another variegated one. This one is Blue's Bling variegated. And we've got another furry one. And I don't know what I did with the tag. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, guys. So we've got Bill Yoder's 1999 Little Red Corvette. And then we've got a Rebel Starfighter Dipper's Delight there. And then, oh my gosh, where's the tag? Oh, yeah, I found it. Okay. Gondwanda Lightning. So this is a dwarf. And then Little Red Corvette again. And beautiful ones. The only one I don't have, I think, of this line is Purple Rain. And that's R-A-I-N. Alright. Oh, and then I have one that is just struggling. Electric Eli. Someone sent me seeds for those. I think I have a couple over at Materville doing okay. This one's not so much. I really hope it pulls through. Come on, little guy. Alright, last of the tomatoes I'm going to show you is my dwarf bed. So I decided to put to grow a whole bunch of dwarves and I've got them staked and tied to the stakes I've got some in the front and grow pots so we're just I guess I show you those too okay that'll be a separate video I think a little bit of disease happening on these let's get that off of there before it spreads okay so we've got growl We've got Summer Sunrise Dwarf. I'm not going to keep saying dwarf. They're all dwarfs. Baronia. Bundaberg Rumball. Dean's Mean Little Green. Marlinga. 
Firebird Sweet. Sweet Splash Electra. This is Electric Pinky. CC McGee. Some of these have, if you can see, they're getting just a little bit of disease. Some rows are, some beds are just doing really well and then others, I just, I'm not quite sure what what's happening, but I'm gonna try to keep up with it and they need sp sprayed with copper. So I'm gonna do that just as soon as I know that my copper spray bottle isn't contaminated with something. That's why I tested a few. Um, so Electric Pinky, CC McGee, Buddy's Heart Dwarf, Gondwanda Rose, Gondwanda Moon, and Gondwanda Lightning are here. And they kind of look like something's happening with those. I don't know why it looks like dark on the foliage. Are they supposed to look like that? I don't know. Uh, this one is Parfait. This is Orion's Belt. Babylon's Glow. Uluru Okra. Digwand Gondwanda Lightning. Okay, this one is Barossa Fest. This one is Elsie's Fancy. This one is Sleeping Lady. This one is Crimson Sockeye. This is Aftershock Dwarf. This is... King Aramis, Confetti, Jackass Yellow, Mahogany, Sweet Satsumo, Stone, Nemu Variegated. Oh, this leaf has got to go. That does not look good. So you can see how pretty the variegation is on that one. In front of that is Tennessee Suited, Barrel Beauty, Sarah Alala's Emerald, Lemon Ice. This is one I tried to go last, grow last year and it didn't do all that great. This one doesn't look all that great. <laughs> uh, Dwarf Andy's 40, Almondine. Dainty Isabel, Metallica Dwarf, the fuzz, which I don't know if the fruit's fuzzy, but the plant's not all that fuzzy. And then another, this is Dean, no, and then this is Dean's Wicked Plum. So that's my dwarf bed. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like this is going to be forever. I think that's where I'm going to conclude this. I have hay bales five more hay bales in the front as well as seven grow pots and then the tomatoes that I have in my greenhouse that I planted because I have a bed in the greenhouse but I think I'll save that for another video so until the next one I hope you all enjoy your day bye